All right, so we're just gonna drop the polluted water. I'll live with it. It's just it's just taking way too long. So the polluted water should be below my regular water. Aw, oh, man, it's causing a mess. Because of how the polluted water wants to be below regular water, due to how liquid densities work. And then we're just waiting for the polluted water to spill off to the left. No, I will not. I am eating the grub fruit myself. Because each grub fruit is 2,000 kcals. That's enough for one dupe on max difficulty. So for the most part, yeah, we're just going to be feeding it to ourselves. We're just going to be eating it. You know how it is. Gotta eat the foods, man. Gotta eat the foods. Hope you don't mind me asking what happened to Sweet Transit. You not dig it? No, I was just checking out the game. Um, you know, it's not one of my main games on my uh, stream rotation. It's more so that I need to be playing my main games. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. We'll probably play it again. Uh, but for the most part, I can't be regularly playing that yet. Just wondering, gotcha, gotcha. So you turned those pretty fun. I feel like there is going to be a limit, though. Like, the moment we figure out the best setup, I think it's going to lose a little bit of its, uh, you know... A little bit of its juice, so to speak. Because once we figure out how to do things in a somewhat of an efficient manner, I feel like it might lose a little bit of its shine. Does it spill inside? So, like I said, you want to use the Spacefarer module. Right? And you're going to want to use the liquid ports right here. You bring up the pipe overlay. You want to pump it in like that. And then when you're inside, you got to make it infinite storage inside. Come on, Sand Raids. I answered that already. It seems geared to factorial players at their train. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so once we get this sealed up, we're technically golden. There we go. Let's go, let's go. The Informer, hi. What's going on, Informer? How are you today? How's the Saturdays? We finally got this expansion tapped in. Ah, oh, man, it feels good. Take the fertilizer. Technically, this is a room. We got to fill it with the business. So we're going to get some comfy beds. It's time, boys. Proper bedrooms. How are you today? We're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, Informer. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Technically, that needs to be a tile, but we'll leave it like that for now. And then we get some more beds right here. Oh, crap. And then we could bop these beds, and they will move into here. Nice. All right, so now that this is ready, we could start setting up a grub fruit area. Most likely, we're going to have to have a ladder on this side because we're going to have to remove the ladders over here. I will probably want, honestly, this to be the one space gap. So it's probably going to copy the design, right? So it's going to be two, three, four, one, one, two, three, and that's going to be four right there. So they're going to be able to go here, here, here. I kind of want to have a tile separating. Or we could actually have it run up so it's going to be like that. And have it tile, tile. That's probably going to be how we're going to want to do it. Which means that it's going to be these two, these two. Oh wait, but that means I can't reach the top. So I need to do it here so that we go from here to here. So it's like that. And then it's like this. 
one space gap, so we put it here. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And then this goes down, two, three, four. And then one space gap, one, two. And then we need to do the same thing here. So it's going to be one, one, two. And then we're going to have to have the tiles here. Because we got to follow that, right? Which means the insulated tiles are going to get removed. Which is fine. What's good, Informer? How's your Saturdays? How's your weekend going, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. We have a little bit of a polluted oxygen CO2 mess, but we'll clean it up. Probably want to get some deodorizers. Probably wouldn't be too bad. Oh, there's no power here, dude. Feels bad. All right, we'll just let the polluted oxygen kind of just leave. Uh, This has power? It does. Okay. We are just going to sweep only the pee water. Sweep only polluted water. Just so that we could get it out of the, the area. So we'll click on this. Liquids. Polluted water. And that's going to be here. Sweep all of that up. And then if possible here as well. Now a lot of that's not even polluted water. Some of it is just debris tiles. Alright, so we're able to remove this. And then also remove that and this. That also means I need a ladder up here so that we can go from the bottom up. All right, so that goes there. We're able to get this there with the similar setup here. We're probably going to want to mirror it. All right, and then this goes on this side. And then that means that goes here. Line that up. This goes here. This goes down four. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to want to deconstruct these tiles when possible. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, he luckily had some... Uh... <laughs> luckily, man, he had some tiles right there. Uh, technically, this is the best spot for the side ladder, just because I need to have tiles on this side for the grub grubs to climb up and down. And I probably have to have a third farm here. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. I will have to make the critter drop off on the outside, which shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. They don't want to climb up? Come on, dude. We're all friends here. Uh, and then we do the sweep here again. I need to start making mud forever. We get free water. I'm not going to be uh, mad. Oh, uh, no, zero. That's because I need to allow water to store in the reservoir here. Crown and aces. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. How goes things too legit? We killing dupes and surviving and thriving today? No dupes are dying. No dupes are dying. No one's dead. We had a gas leak in our magma vacuum, but it was such little amounts of gas that it re-vacuumed itself magically. It was pretty good. We lived on the dangerous side today. But right now we're uh, relocating some of the uh, food sources, which is why we're a little bit low. And we're moving the grub fruit over to this side. But outside of that, we're doing pretty good. Hope you're doing just as good, Crowded Aces. Hope you're having a uh, good old Saturdays over there. Seems good. Seems good indeed. All right, we got to slowly remove the insulated tiles here so we don't have to sweep additionally. That sweeps to the bottom. I don't want to have that swept yet. All right, so that means we get rid of this. Get rid of that. And then this becomes a flat setup. Except for that. That goes down to here. Citrus the Wizard, how are you? How is the Saturday? So hope you're doing well. Imagine a flatulent dupe starting an explosion in the magma area. Don't say that, man. That's why I actually don't take flatulent dupes. That's the exact reason. You can't trust them, dude. If they just let one rip, dude, oh, it's, it's going to be a bad time. It's going to be a bad time if they let one rip, dude. Just saying. Oh, 
Oh, you're playing Cult of the Lamb? How's that, dude? Everyone's on that game, dude. That game is like the hype game of the... of the time right now. That game is big hype. Everyone's playing it. But because everyone's playing it though, I'm looking to not play it at all. <laughs> it's one of those things, man, where it's like, because everyone plays it, I understand that I'm not going to have any growth playing it for my channel. <laughs> and that because of that, it's like, yeah, we're going to chill out with it. Speaking of other games, have you tried Workers and Resources Soviet Republic? My current run at the moment? about your current drug at the moment. Reminds you of Cities Meets Factorial with a splash of vodka. <laughs> I see you over there. I'm probably not gonna check it out. It's, uh, I don't have anything against it, but there's nothing about it that really goes, oh, Pog Champ. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like it's it has its niche. I just don't think it's that great yet. We'll, we'll have to see if it gets better. But yo, man, good to hear that you're having fun with that game. I've seen some other people play it, but, uh, yeah. I don't think I'll be checking it out anytime soon. Unless maybe the dev reaches out to me and they want me to check it out and they give me a key for free. That would be probably the only instance something like that happens. Otherwise, I'm kind of backlogged on some of the games I need to kind of just play because I made some promises. Like, I, I need to play a couple games because, you know, I need to. <laughs> I need to. They, they put their faith in me. I gotta, I gotta do it. But I'm looking at the category of the game they're wanting me to play. It's doing so well that even if I stream it right now, I don't know if I even help them out that much. But in time. We'll have to see. Uh, if the Aqua Tuner is running, that's really it. Hi, what's going on, 97701? That sounds like a zip code, man. How are you? Welcome on in. Uh, this is duties. This is a priority seven. And then five on the loader, because that doesn't matter. And then copy paste here. All right, so now I should actually try to actively capture all the Sweetles. There's a lot of grub fruit here that we need to relocate. And then I need to also do the shipping line a little bit better. So this is going out this way. And then we'll just attach it onto that same line. They're saying they're adding content, but we'll have to see. I see, I see. I have friends at uh, the Volver, and I didn't even get a free key. All oh, feels bad, dude. Feels bad. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You know what the saying is, though? If you have a friend that's, uh, you know, he works in a business, you shouldn't expect him to give you, like, free stuff you should expect to try to support him yeah right you don't mind spending money on your friends arts right it should be a good thing you're helping them kind of realize their dream if that makes sense all right so we're gonna be able to sweep soon all of that, nice. So I should be okay to deconstruct both of these layers. And then the grub grub should be just moving over to the side. So then we could evolve the plants. I should have enough backup food like Drekos and Hatches that it shouldn't be a bad thing. All right, so this does get hot and it's not enough. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. So, I could theoretically add some more thermal energy into here. 
I could also just add a second thermal regulator by putting two mesh tiles right here. And then putting a thermal regulator right there. <laughs> I probably don't want to do that though. That That is an option to guarantee that we uh, tame the uh, cool steam vent. But we are struggling with the energy right now. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. I had some uh, bibimbop yesterday. That was pretty bomb. Not going to lie. I'm a fan of the Korean food. Love that stuff, man. What's this? I know I said it wrong, man. I probably butchered it. But uh, yeah, I don't got the accent down for that yet. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, ha. I messed up. Okay. So we got to do it two tiles at a time. We got to put a ladder there. All right. So this was 18, 18, 16, 16. So that's what? 32 plus 36. That's 78, which means that I need around exactly 10 tiles of farm tiles. I could probably try to get away with 9, so it's exactly one sweeper. Or just put another setup here. This is exactly 10. I might just want to keep this, but I need to put a sweeper there so we automatically grab the food. Which means I gotta bop one of these. I want to combine it though, just so that we could have it in, you know, unison formation. It's a little bit convenient that way. All right, so now like that, we could start moving two at a time. Uh, I also should move four people, so we'll move these two. All right, another two tiles. We got to do that. And because we don't, the dupes are never going to finish this job. We got to do it slowly. But you, welcome on in, 97701. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Sadly, though, I only speak English and I don't speak any other languages. Not fluent enough that I could converse in it. I do know a little bit of some, you know, minor languages, but not enough to be able to talk with people. So because of that, man, I'll do my best to understand. But if you have any questions about what we're doing, this is uh, the map. And uh, we're playing on max difficulty. You could see that on the stress modifier, there is a plus 20%. And it says highest difficulty. Same thing with calories. They have to double up how much they eat. So there's a lot of things about this. We get diseases a lot faster. They get more stress. And uh, yeah, we're handling it so far. 569. We have a second planet that we haven't really touched up uh, that much, but it's there, it's hanging out. And then uh, here, we're got it up to space, we're gonna build a rocket soon. We're gonna start uh, getting a pipe to the CO2 eventually. But we're doing all right, doing all right. Oh, how did that oxygen get in there? Dude. How does oxygen get, you can't actually get oxygen there. What? How did that get inside? Dude, I have no idea. We gotta fix that though. <laughs> Man, I don't know how that's happening, but you know, it is what it is. We gotta do what we gotta do. So this is gonna be the gas pipeline most likely. We'll have that built. Construction on low priority. This is because we kind of want this to be done later if my dupes are idle. We want some other tasks here to be done first. I was given the best hoodie t-shirt ever and it said standard gift hoodie. <laughs> you should get your friend, world's most okayest friend in, a, in like a mug or something. <laughs> Dude, you, you should do that, Citrus the Wizard. Since he got you the hoodie, you should give him a cup or a mug for coffee that says, most okayest friend. That'd be pretty good. Am I out of seeds? 
Oh, that's the wrong seed. My bad. Uh, cancel grub fruit. Plant, copy, paste. There we go. I was wondering why they weren't planting that. We have seeds everywhere. Deconstructs. Grub fruit decay. That's fine. It's gotta do what's gotta do. The vacuum, it's handling its business. What is that? Igneous. Let's actually pull that out. Alright, it's pulled out. Nice. This has no sulfur. This is all priority 7, and it is. It's not too bad. And we gotta capture these guys now. Just gotta drop them off here when they can. We gotta remove... Well, we gotta harvest this. <laughs> we gotta harvest that plant. And then technically this entire road is ready to be deconstructed as well. Everything will fall down to the ground. Oh, I can't reach some of that. We're going to need that ladder. Alright. That technically means I could mine both of these tiles and then remove the insulated wall right there. Pretty good, pretty good. So this goes here. We're going to remove two more beds. They're going to be moved over to here. We'll put another bed there. Remove two people. One goes here, one goes there. Put another bed. Remove these two. Get these two beds. That's exactly 11. Technically, this is gone. Now all we have to do is move the grub grubs. But they're already in the area, climbing around, going through their farm areas. Not too bad. And then the compost, I would kind of want to move, but it's fine for now. Oh, I can't reach that. Let's get a ladder. Alright, so we have one more farm to build, sadly. So this is probably going to go here. Wait, so I want to go one, two. Yeah, which means I do need this tile. And then this needs me to go one, two, one, two, one, two. And then that's eight, nine, ten. Technically, that's perfect. Wait, are you stuck? No, he's building. He's building. Oh, man. I thought he was stuck for a second. So these are ladders. The grub groups are not going to be able to climb up and down on them. That's fine. And you guys might be wondering, why am I building like this? That's because uh, there is a limit to how much I could actually build because of my geyser limits. So we calculated out, we could supply exactly 88 uh, duplicates. 88, I'm sorry. Uh, we could supply 88 grub fruits with uh, sulfur, which feeds exactly 11 duplicates at max difficulty. So because of that, we're making some changes and uh, only ranching this much. So I'll probably put that here so that we put that here, which means we need the sweeper here, but I need to deconstruct that tile first. Not too bad. Salt cancel. Oh, we have salt? That's kind of awesome. Salt's one of those resources. Six to nine. Nice. Technically, these two could be removed, and then we'll just build both the beds. So the grub grubs are able to reach. Oh, but they can't reach the bottom. Oh, that's a travesty. Uh, yeah, they can't reach the bottom. That actually really sucks. <laughs> they can't reach the bottom two right here. Is there any way for me to fix that?
It would have to be these two instead of these two. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's fine. We got to do what we got to do. And then we got to remove this ladder and that ladder. Yeah, they're rubbing all the plants to make it evolve. Good stuff. And then we can remove this line afterwards. The sweeper cap. It's, um, we're, we're basically doing the design, but from the right side. So both of these are basically the edge. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. So once this gets moved over, we get all the room for activities. We get so much room for tile spacing. I don't want to use sandstone. More rooms, man. This is it's a great feeling. Now this means that I got to remove these farm tiles, which is fine. And then we need the rail, which is going to be like this. Uh, the sulfur shipments we'll do later. That's going to come from the geyser so that we automate the uh, farming. This is going to need power. We'll just have this on a wire like that. And I probably need to separate this from the Aqua Tutor line eventually. We'll do that soon, but we don't need to do that immediately. Aww. This is not getting swept. Ah, that's fine. That means let's just start deconstructing this. Nice. Alright. Time to get rid of the ladders. This builds out. Cancel that. Deconstruct that. Auto save lag. Don't touch anything. Y'all know how it is with the auto save, man. If you get messy, we're gonna want to wrangle the baby pip, put him in here. Oh, the Draco got stuck. <laughs> Feels bad. The Draco got in. Now he can't get out. Is there any other critters that are running around that shouldn't be? The pip here is gone. Good stuff. No other loose critters. I don't want to have excessive lag for no reason. Oh yeah, and the oxygen in this bubble. Uh, I need to make sure we delete that. And then this is going to be grub fruit. Now, priority seven is what we want. So everything is around the same priority so that we manually do everything right now. The last thing is moving the grub grubs in, but I think they're doing fine. This is just cleanup, waiting for that. And then the only thing we need to do is make sure the... Uh... Yes, we need to sweep this, copy paste. And then the rail line's already there, nice. So we're automatically sweeping the grub fruit to here, meaning that I don't have to rely on my dupes doing an infinite loop, because that was the issue we were running into before. Since we're no longer cooking the grub fruit, right? We're just having it in the storage. The problem we ran into was that if I made them deliver it to the loader so that it could go to the freezer box, it's going to be pulled out of the, the food right here and get put back into there. Since this goes through regular tiles, it's going to heat up again and it's going to rot the food eventually. So we had to automate it by sweeping everything. That's what we're doing right now. We have some choice tiles in here so that the critters could move to and from where they need to go. The necessary things, necessary things. This is technically a tile to move up. I just didn't want to put it, huh? Same thing, no, actually I can't do it here. This would be a tile though, wouldn't it be bad? And then I wouldn't need the ladders there. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so this is nice. All we gotta do now is uh, move the uh, critter drop setup so that any grub grubs we have, we could automatically move them in. And then we never move the sweetles to here. Priority nine sweetle sweetle larva. Dude, I'm confused, what happened? All right, so we're just gonna wrangle everything on this floor. The hatches will go into here probably. 
because we're not putting them here. And then we need to start starvation ranching the uh, Sweetle Babies. Now, we could try to grow, like, two plants to make sucrose from these guys. I don't mind doing that. I don't know if I need to, though. Actually, we don't even need the plants. We just got to feed them sulfur. I could probably feed, like, two Sweetles and not run out of it indefinitely. Technically, I need to build this here. And we'll add in the sulfur line to feed into that later. But dude, we are doing great. We are doing great. So, you know what's crazy? I have yet to build a fire pole. There's one here, but that's it. I have no fire poles anywhere else. That's kind of wild, man. <laughs> I think it's time, dude. Let's build some fire poles. Sometimes we just need some fire poles, man. Increase the speed. And then uh, we'll need to start melting out this area very soon. I do want to line this up, though. So that the cold energy stops leaking through. And then once we warm it up, it's going to be better that way. Dude, look at how hot this is, man. 50 degrees? Jeez. Oh, there's a Sweetle here? What in the heck? Are we not moving them into here? Uh, oh, they're they're getting dropped back in. Oh, I'm so Papega, dude. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I'm so slow. I was like, how come they're not moving it into the ranch? Oh, they're just taking it here and putting it back on top. I see now. Okay, okay. So we got to move one, two, three, and then four. Oh, that guy's old, though. Where's the old guy? Alright, we'll just reselect them. One. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. We could only have four of them right there. Hey, Ghost Rider! Coming in with five months. Thank you so much for the five months of support. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub bad. But thank you so much for the support, dude. I see you over there. What's going on though, Ghost Rider? How are you? How was the days today? How was the Saturdays? Hope you're doing well, my friends. But thank you so much for the five months. The base is making some progress. We fully melted out the left side. We gotta melt the right side down. Days are doing good. Playing some WoW. You playing Classic or are you playing with the new expansion coming out? Grub fruit keeps rotting. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. If we have some grub fruit there, we can let it rot. Oh, you're playing retail. Gotcha, gotcha. Are you excited for the DLC? DLC. The expansion? Because didn't, uh, what is it? Microsoft take over? That's what happened, right? So they're like hoping it breeds in some, uh, some life into it. All right, we're going to have to deconstruct that just to make it a little bit better. Nice, nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yo, man. Gotta have that excitement sometimes. But I've, I haven't kept up with any of the changes. Is Does anything look promising with uh, the new retail stuff that's coming out? Alright, so now this is done. I think... I think we could start focusing on, uh, oh yeah, we're crushing oxygen, that's right. So we'll do it on that tile first. Uh, yeah, so I think what we're going to do now is start setting up the rocket. Alright, there was a meme strat, I don't think we could do it. Uh, how did the meme strat work? I think I wanted glass, so... I wanted this built, and then 
above this, I want its solar panel. It doesn't allow me to build that, okay? So, let me build below this. Let's start with the solar panel. And then above that, we build a space ferret. Alright, so I could do that. And then... I think it's like this. I'm doing a very weird strat, you guys. So you guys gotta bear with me. I don't know if that works the way I think it does, though. But if it doesn't work, I think I could figure it out and show you guys on Tuesday. If this works the way I think it does. Oh, oh, we could do plastic now. Oh, that's right. We do not have to fear the radiation shining through anymore. Some of this shit is mad hot, though. <laughs> I might, might, no, I can't. The liftoff temperature is going to bot me. I was going to say, I might actually just put a layer of plastic instead of having abyssalite. But the funny thing is, people don't know, abyssalite is stronger than plastic in terms of shielding from radiation. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Come on, you delivered five kilograms of glass? <laughs> Come on, man, you, you didn't even help. Whoa, you're picking up sulfur from there? Ah, oh, it's illegal. You can't go inside? Wow, this guy just went inside to the, the, the freaking... Y'all believe this? He broke inside just to grab some hot sulfur? That was mad illegal, yo. Gotta make sure you stop that. Grow fruit preserves. Alright, this is a weird strat. I need to see if this works, though. So, I need this to be built ASAP. This is a lower priority. Scarlet Man. Okay, we could build the rocket platform. So, I need another person that can build. Because this guy is doing all the building by himself. Once we uh, increase the size of the, the area. So, now we got to build the solar panel next. All right, all right. A lot of sweeping needs to be done, but that keeps them busy. Research station is flooded. Oh, my ice melted. Oh, that sucks. Well, we got to mop that up. Oh, too much liquid. Yep, yeah, looking forward to Dragonfly. Nice, nice. Dude, they're they're stealing uh my Guild War 2's uh flying mechanics. I'm not gonna lie, man. Guild War 2, the mounts in it of itself is is so ahead of its time. There is no other game with a proper mount system like Guild Wars does. I I wonder what they're gonna take from that though. Because I feel like the, the mount system in Guild Wars 2 is very balanced. Would doubt they stole things. No, they did. They actually talked about it. They're literally taking the Guild Wars 2 uh, flying mount mechanics. And they're adding it in to uh, WoW Retail. They, that's I mean, you could you could doubt it, but that's literally what they said. <laughs> so it's like yeah, you know. At this point, it's like you can't really be mad because it's always been a uh, copy paste from whatever it is that's you know popular. The all steel from EverQuest. You never played Yulers too, huh? The flying mechanics and all the mount mechanics that they have is really balanced. It works really well, and it doesn't just feel like oh I just move faster. There's actually like mount abilities, mount speed, there's like different uh, upsides and whatnot, different terrain balances. It's pretty good. 
Did you play Guild Wars 2 when Path of Fire came out and you played with the mounts? Skyscale, Griffin, Jackal, Skimmer, and the Raptor mount? All of them have different strengths and weaknesses, but it's pretty balanced out. I will say that not having a mount though is pretty bad. Having it is, is almost required at this point. Because back in the day, Guild Wars 2, dude, it's, it, it was tough. You move so slow, everyone spamming quickness and swiftness wasn't even enough. <gasps> I built this too fast. Ah, messed up, boys. I gotta redo this. Scarlet Man's coming back up. He's gonna be pissed, though. Because he already has... Oh, he peed out the radiation. Good stuff. We gotta get him some rad pills soon. Oh, radiation shining. Alright, so we gotta deconstruct. Off the bed. Don't forget to mamba some wet food for me. Oh, we, we fed him already. We fed him already. We actually showed him on camera, too. Alright, that's a strat. Scarlet Man, do it, please. You're getting a little bit of radiation sickness. Alright, so that's like that. And then above this, I want to build that. And then, theoretically, it's a little bit jank, but it should work. Damn it, I missed it. Feels bad, Mordex. It's, I mean, there's probably a clip somewhere. <laughs> but yo, have a good night, Mordex. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time, man. I played a good one for years. Loved the hell out of the game. Guild Wars 2 was fun for a bit, but I didn't have the time of my life to keep up with my friends in the game. Lost interest in the game because of the gap between us. I will say that you probably just didn't hit max level as fast as your friends did. Because I'm not going to lie, Guild Wars 2 runs into the flaw that is the only reason why it's not as big of a game as some of the other titles like Final Fantasy or WoW is because of the fact it's horizontal progression. Horizontal progression is really weird because the moment you hit max level, you could literally buy more or less the best gear from the uh, marketplace. And then you get minor increases by getting the best gear. Literally, you do not have to do a single dungeon or raid in order to uh, hit the best gear line. And it's because the game is not really about progression in terms of gear. There is no gear treadmill or anything like that. It's more so just horizontal progression. Okay, does this actually work? Oh, there's no engine. It's not part of it. Oh, what feels bad? It doesn't attach. That's what I was hoping for. That was what I was hoping for. The reverse rocket, dude. I wanted to meme with this, but it didn't work. This is a separate rocket. Kalpana, and this is, uh... This rocket is the Helios. Oh, that sucks. I thought that would have been kind of cool. I'll have to figure out how that works. Alright, so this is good. How is my CO2? Yeah, so we deleted the oxygen. Nice. So then now we're going to be able to start filling up the rockets with CO2. So from here... What up? What's going on, Master Shake? How are you? We are making progress in the colony. Cleaning up some things, making sure that we moved over the farm so we have more space for the grub grubs. Automating some of the things. Outside of that, though, we're doing pretty good. Making some progress. Oh, dude. Grub Grub Wormlings. We gotta wrangle these guys. We gotta move them into the box. Nice, we got some Sweetles. Good stuff, good stuff. So we're gonna Starvation Ranch these guys. We're not gonna feed them, and we're just gonna keep them inside. So we have two to three. One of them's a larva, and there's always one inside the, the door, so this is fine. We'll lower this down to one priority. Let's actually turn this off. 
about to play some Oni. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Always uh, glad to hear people playing some of that oxygen not included. It's always a fun time. How's your quality so far, Master Shank? How is all the things in that? This is fine. And it goes like that. And then we'll start pumping out the CO2 we've been stockpiling here. So that we could build a proper rocket. This doesn't work, huh? I need to figure out how this works. With the meme setup. Must install at the bottom of the rocket. Ah, man. Well, well, we'll set up the pipeline into it first before we actually uh, build the engine. Oh, it's actually all done. I was close to the same pace initially, but didn't have time to get to the highest end gear, grind out the money, or for the stats. It was also achievements. Oh, yeah. All about the achievement hunting. They were uh, doubling, tripling my numbers regardless. How much time I could spend, but keep that in mind, this is all before the first expansion. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I will say that it's become a game where you kind of just play at your own pace. Because it's because gear doesn't matter. There's no, like, necessary requirement anymore. Like, oh, if you don't have X uh, gear level, you know, you can't do this certain content. None of that exists. So because of that, you could hit max level, play for maybe a week casually by just doing the dailies you get three gold a day and after doing that for like a week you'll have enough money to get like close to top end gear and then the only thing stopping you from getting max level gear it's probably just you know grinding out some more money doing some of the quests so that you could make some of the gear because crafting self-crafting is pretty uh important in that game but i feel you with that man do they still play you could try to sneak up and catch up if he stopped, man. <laughs> I started a character 25 or so, and then you parked it there for the last two, three years. Feels bad. Ace Cal doesn't play Guild Wars 2. I thought you were one of us, man. I thought you were one of us. Okay, so doing good i probably want some more suits my oxygen levels need to be managed a little bit better this room is going to erupt and i still need to cool down this room i probably want to make a double setup for the thermal regulators you log in uh, once every while when prime has free stuff to give out there is also daily login rewards like you could do something as minimal as that just daily login and you'll have enough uh I have enough stuff. <laughs> like, you'll, you'll eventually get enough stuff to buy gear. It's pretty convenient. Okay, so now that that's good, I need to make a hatch ranch. And... I think it's gonna be here, dude. I honestly think my hatch ranch is gonna have to be at the bottom. Alright, so that means I'll get rid of this. All right, that's fine. And we'll start mining this out. Gotta be done. Last I saw my guild leader on the same time, time to time. Not sure about the others. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow was the only thing you could do reliably. Wow, wow was a drug, dude. That stuff was crazy. Yeah, the daily stuff is tough, man. It really is. I'm not a fan of doing dailies. But not gonna lie, man. I feel like if you don't have dailies, you might as well just say you don't have a lot of, of content. <laughs> you play multi planets? Yes, I just haven't had the ability to really move out to the other planets right now, Citrus. I have another planet right there that we're not really doing much of. I'm just stripping it of the resources from time to time. But uh, yeah, I don't have a base set up yet. It's a little bit tough because we're still trying to stabilize completely on this planet. I will have to eventually go over there, though. I will have to eventually set up a uh, multi-base setup to, uh, you know, grab the resources. Grab the water, specifically. We're going to need the water.
I played WoW enough to have a character have an in-game birthday. Is that like an event or something? <laughs> that that that's that's like playing the game for a year. Is that what that means? Because I'm thinking about it as like, yo, man, WoW's been out for a decade. <laughs> Ross Delicious, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Oh, slash play 356. Oh, that's impressive. One hour play time. That's a lot different. <laughs> that's a lot different. 356. He doesn't count holidays, dude. He doesn't count holidays. You know how it would be. You don't count Christmas. You don't count uh, Thanksgiving. You don't count uh, Labor Day. Don't forget 4th of July. Damn, 7k plus Guild Wars 1. Jeez, dude, that's a lot of time. Nine days short of a birthday. So close, man. So close. Alright, so let's go inside. Let's set this up. This needs to be deconstructed. We need to have a wall toilet. I need to have oxygen, so canister emptier. And then we're going to need plastic tiles here. Might as well put it on the corners as well, so that we don't get wrecked by the radiation. And we are not gonna wash our hands. I hate to say that. We're just gonna, you know, not wash our hands. And then we're going to need data banks, which is gonna be there. I'm sorry, 619. We don't we don't have the bleach stone necessary. And one of the things I don't want to do is carry something that off gases through here, dude. Just saying, that's a trap. <laughs> We're just gonna drop bleach stone because it's schedule ending and bam, it breaks my breaks my design. Huge rip, dude. But yeah, I did a world first level wow until uh Black Temple. Then started playing Minecraft instead. It feels bad. That was a long time ago, man. World first. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, but I can't... Oh, I see. Alright, so... I would have to swap this out. So everything inside is cancelled. That's why. That's a meme design. I want to see if that works. Huge memes incoming. 04 to 08. Goddamn. I was first month Guild Wars 1 played until Guild Wars 2 released. That's a long time. Isn't that a, technically a decade? Oh, now this is in the way. That's fine. Yeah, I play Guild Wars 1 too. I still have it. I wanted to make a quick shot, triple shot, uh... What is it, a thief? Or a ranger? Ranger, there we go. I wanted to make a quick shot, triple shot thief. Uh, ranger. Never really got off the ground. Feels bad. I didn't know that the Necro was the most o overpowered class. Should have known, man. Necromancers. Alright, another thing is... I need this setup. I need to block the radiation from wrecking my guy on the, uh, the lab right now. Alright, so here... I need to do this. And then we want to do that. And then I want to do this, that, that... And then I want to do this, this. Oh, the memes work! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, this this is the forbidden rocket. The forbidden rocket. This is what we call the reverse rocketry setup. It's actually going to be built on. Huh? <laughs> this is going to be amazing. So, by doing a rocket this way... 
we we have the rocket exhaust at the top of the rocket. The funny thing about this is that when you do it this way, you're not going to heat up your rocket platform or the ladders as much. <laughs> so later on when we do a rad bolt rocket, we're gonna reverse rocket it so that we could have like the you know the battery module <laughs> have the have the uh you know solar panels artifact transport modules right underneath it so i don't have to worry about heating up anything that rocket is mad legal dude it's gonna be tight dude it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome my dude all right so here will be obsidian all right so we're hoping this works we're hoping this is as gangsta as we think it is. <laughs> I can't believe it actually worked. That's such a meme. Alright, the wormling got picked up. That's good. And technically, I could keep the pitcher pump there. I gotta mine all these tiles. Alright, so the CO2 line is ready to start sending. Now, because everything here is a vacuum, I don't have to worry about my CO2 freezing over. That's kind of nice. Food keeps the decay, man. The grub fruit. 152 rotted grub fruit? Jesus Christ. How do I get so much rotted grub fruit, dude? Does everything... Alright, so this grub fruit is at 20 degrees. Vacuum. Chillin' chillin'. Is it that heavy that it can't chill fast enough and it's rotting? If that's the case, I actually need to do my freezer setup a little bit faster. Alright, so we're not going to need this anymore. We'll deconstruct that. Same thing with the power. I'll also reroute the power. So it's a little bit different. Uh, goes down like that instead. The pipeline is removed. Plastic as well. And then we'll do the setup. We're going to do a freezer setup. So the vacuum here shouldn't matter as much. We'll just mop up the oil. Get rid of this. Uh, this needs to be solid tiles now. So we'll get rid of that a little bit at a time. Oh, they can't reach that anymore. Alright. Priority 9. We need at least one of those built. So we could deconstruct this one. Yeah, we're going to need to do a freezer setup. Didn't want to do it, but, you know, it's going to be necessary, given how the feed keeps rotting. Oh my god, this is gross. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is mad gross. <laughs> this rocket is mad illegal. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have three tiles of space. Uh... Oh! I need to get a basic nose cone on top of that. Oh yeah, that's legit now. There we go. We got the, uh, what's that called? Reduced uh, air drag and wind resistance. You guys know how uh, when you buy a uh, race car, they have that spoiler in the back for faster driving speeds or something like that? That's what we're doing. We're putting a nose cone on top of the engine for reduced drag. Take the seeds. All right, so back to here, we remove that. I wanna, might as well drop off the oil here. So sweep, sweep, sweep. And then we're gonna wanna sweep the items. All right, so the oil gets dropped, got him. Pick up the last oil. Let's hope the cops don't see you. <laughs> Who are the cops, man? Is that the devs? Hope the devs don't see me. 
That's perfectly fair. Autosave lag. I see you over there, Euro. Hope you're doing well. So that goes there. This needs to be deconstructed. And then with the new power line, I could do this, that. And then we cut this up. Now we deconstruct this. And we're going to use the oil to keep freezing the water. That's probably going to be necessary. Want to sweep that? I probably needed to keep that uh, unbuilt, to be honest. And then let's look at how this should work. So it needs to go into the crap. Given how the rail works, I need to think about this. Uh, so we're going to have a conveyor shut off. Oh, I don't have the uh, temperature check. Do we even need a temperature check then at this point? I do need to grab the signal. That would be the the better way to do it. Yeah, we'll do that then. We'll get it ready. So we need to have a setup. It's probably going to want to face the bottom. Hmm. I need to think about that. I do need a freezer setup, though. All right, so virtual planetarium. That's going to be what they're asking me for. So we'll just put that here. This is not industrial machinery, right? That might ruin the ranch. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about, actually. How much power is this? 120 watts. That's actually perfect. So we'll do the databank research there, grab the databanks from the top. They're building that, easy does it. We'll start pumping soon. Cool, cool. Oh! Major radiation sickness? Okay. It's time, dude. Oh, I can't keep him in here? Alright, man. Uh, he's actually pretty sick. I did not realize how sick he was. So? What can we do to keep him inside? Uh... Force a new schedule, I guess. That means he can't work, though. Oh, that just means I can't have him go in this way. There we go. So it's not you. It's Scarlet Man. You can no longer go outside. You could stay inside and work. You just can't go into the uh, outside and work in space. That's what we need. So we don't need a new schedule. That means this has to be built by somebody else. That's fine. Well, he doesn't need off time. The radiation sickness only gets worse if he gets more radiation. So if he, he's, he's still fine at work, there's nothing bad about it. It's really just making sure he doesn't get worse, uh, and that means getting more radiation. If that's fine, I think he'll be okay. Oh, he's vomiting again. Alright, so... He's no longer sick. Hey, always lucky. He's no longer sick. <laughs> it just took him two vomits to spit out the bad juice. And now he's, he's good. He's chilling, dude. Alright, so this setup. Let's start setting this up. We need a wall toilet. We need to deconstruct that. These are going to be regular old tiles. We're going to have to have... I want to get a, a hand wash thing right there, but we can't. So, uh, you know, feels bad, man. 
be like that sometimes. Need that there for oxygen. I am going to most likely need a plastic ceiling. We're not messing around here. Uh, bathroom. Yeah, that means we need that. And for the time being, we'll get the ladders here. So I would need this, this. Everything else is fine. We're not going to have an output. And then from here... I'd probably want maybe just an orbital data collection lab. I probably don't need anything else. So we have this. Coming back outside. We don't have space for a battery. Ooh, no battery. We have a solar panel, though. That's enough for the orbital data collection lab, though, I believe. I would love to have a battery module, though. One tile space. We can't have it. So that means I have to put a battery in here, which sucks. But uh, we'll put a jumbo battery. It doesn't actually matter. So nighttime is two hours. Two hours out of 24. So two divided by 24 times 600. So that ends up being what? One twenty fifty twelve hundred. I don't know math. Ah, oh, crap. All right, calculator time. So two divided by twenty four times six hundred. Fifty seconds. Uh, fifty seconds times. So, 10,000, if we go 60, 300, oh yeah, small batteries, perfect. We don't need anything larger than that. Okay, that means we probably just have a straightforward setup like this. Right, that's the power. Uh, I probably don't need a hamster wheel. We're just going to wash our hands, do the thing up top. And then, I would love to have space food, but I don't think we will actually have any. So, door here, and then the rocket control station. Data lab, we're going to need plastic. We don't need that to be a separate room. And then, technically, we should give them some beds, which probably be right here. I probably have the ladders right here. And have that be right there. Oh, this is starting to overheat. Oh, wow. I'm actually kind of impressed. This is actually starting to overheat because I don't have gold. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. It just really means we need to start cracking into the uh, cold biome. I'm actually okay with that. Now, we will replace these with steel. Because we have steel. We have a lot. So we'll just replace that for now. And then we will open up the cold biome anyways. It's just that it's going to take time for this to cool down. So this is probably going to be the best option. Alright, so no power for a minute, that's fine. We'll just have this run. Oh, my rad bolt generators. Hopefully they'll do that fast. No research is assigned to data analysis. Alright, so I need to pass on some skills. My researcher is... Was it Silent One? Oh, it was Rambo. Rambo, is that you? It is you. Oh, yes, Mechatronics, dude. That's not him. It is Silent One. All right, so we need Astronomy and Data Analysis. 22 out of 11. And it looks like he needs to get rocket piloting. Just so that he could start driving. Feels bad. He's going to start doing this then. How 
How come they're not? Oh, this has no power. <laughs> I was like so confused. Like, why is why is this not pumping CO2 yet? We need this to launch the rocket. Okay, so we got that. Got to wait for them to build that. That we could deconstruct, but I'm not too worried about it yet. Priority nine. So one of them, it's 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 running. We get a little bit of power at the very least. I think if we get at least the second one, we'll be fine. Is Silent One... No, he is researching. Data analysis... Why does this still have that there? It's probably a glitch. We should just ignore that then. So, Scarlet Man is sleeping, which is why. Oh, look at that. So, he was sleeping next to someone with a loud sleeper. But because we're having a comfy bed, it's wide spaced enough so that it actually doesn't bother him. So, pretty good. Pretty good. We'll take that. Oh, I need to select meat, too. I forget about that. The grub grubs die eventually. You gotta send the meat... Yeah, we gotta make this a better design so we get a little bit more water. So we could start stockpiling the oxygen. It might have been beneficial to leave the wheeze warts inside too, It's what I'm thinking. Some additional cooling properties. I think we just need another thermal regulator though. This is chilling. Oh, it reset the temperatures. So they will starve if you don't let them eat anything? Uh, they will starve if I don't let them eat anything. What are we talking about, 619? What are we talking about? Ooh, omelets. Sure. Hopefully somebody eats that. Yeah, so no. The wild grub grubs are wild. So that meat right there is because they died of old age. 150. You can see this guy's already 111. So they don't starve to death. They die of old age. So that's how I got the meat right here from the grub grubs. But yeah. Makes it feel like, uh, you know, I was neglecting them. No, that's not the case. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. They doing all right, man. All right, just got to get some plastic for the ceiling. Uh, pipeline here. It's got to be like that. A little bit of uh, battery. We just got to release a little bit of oxygen into here. We'll be good. Oh, look at Silent One. Dude, he's only in 22 rats. But he's getting he's getting the dosage up to Yin Yang, man. Current exposure 218. Ah, that's not the correct tile. That's why. Uh, let's disable the building. He's he's gonna get sick. So even though I blocked the tile where he was sitting, that was actually not the tile where the telescope is. Okay. Now that I know, that should help us out a little bit to set up the plastic for that, to reduce the radiation for uh, scanning. Oh, CO2 is rolling. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. We got the most illegal rocket known to man. I'm going to lift it off at least one time. I want to see if it works. The meal lines, that's fine. We're not harvesting that, right? Okay, it's naturally falling. And it's not like we have juicy fruit or anything like that. Okay, so now this side. Uh, it is hot. It is eventually going to break stuff. So let's start mining out through the abyssal line. Got to start cracking into this. 
Imagine if the animals in real life are like an Oni. If you don't feed a wild cow and you will have infinite food for free. Dude, you know how many... Dude, if that was true, dude. You know how expensive cows would be? Beef would be off the charts. In terms of how expensive it would be. Because no one would want to kill cows. Same thing with chickens. You would literally just farm them for the milk and eggs. Right? Like, you would never want to kill the animal. Because <laughs> it's like, that's, that's what happens. If that happened in real life, you would never kill the animal. You would consistently try to keep them alive. So you could get as much food as possible. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Really do, though, be like that sometimes? Oh, it has to be like this. There we go. Which means this is going to go... Ah, that works, that works. Dude, loaded up Guild Wars 1, played across 180 months, 15 years. Jesus Christ, man. That's a long time. That's a really long time, man. I'm not going to lie. So if I run ice in here, it doesn't work because of entombment. So I think what we're going to want to do is I have an idea. I don't think we're going to need a temperature check. We could though. I like the idea of just pre-freezing the food. I really do. I like that idea. Like, if I just pre-freeze the food, it's always going to be fine. Yeah, so we actually don't need a conveyor shut off here. But imagine, though, Soul Rack. That would be insane. Like, we would cure world hunger, dude. <laughs> Because we would have so many cows. We would have so many milk and egg ranches everywhere. Everybody's going to be eating like eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's going to be like 10 cents per dozen of eggs. <laughs> like, just imagine, man. That stuff is going to be wild. Alright, so technically... That's fine. And then that's going to have to be a tile. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this all works out. All right, we're going to replace some things and we're going to do some strats, but it should be fine. Everything should be good. And I think what we're going to want to do to do this right is we're going to need to have a ladder in here. So it's probably just going to be a ladder right there. I hate to have a ladder in there, but we need it. Outside of the ladder, there's no other way for us to get in and out, which we need to be able to do. Uh, do I have an extra bin anywhere? Oh, I have to, oh it's right here. I'll just build a new bin. I deleted one too, feels bad. All right, so we're going to make a pre-freezer. Hopefully this works in the way I think it does. Oh, a little bit of water spill. That's fine. We need the water in there anyways. Grub fruit keeps decaying, man. How much is that this time? 80 grub fruit? All right, pre-freezing is going to be mad necessary. Pre-freezing is going to be mad necessary. All right, so this is going to be miscellaneous abyssalite on a sweep-only setup. All right, so we need to sweep up these materials right here. And then this needs to be insulated tile. 
this wheel technically doesn't need to be there anymore. And technically, I don't even know, because we're not pulling power from here anymore. Isn't this better off going into this line? Might as well. Uh, which means everything else is going to be deconstructed. And then I also need rail back here then. Feed me, I'm not wild. I see Ace Cow. I got some meal lice in the fridge, if you don't mind that, Mr. Ace Cow. Some good old meal lice. Oops. Alright, that goes into there like that. Okay, so these are all green. That's fair. I probably have to redo this line. And have that go into here. This is going to be shenanigans, man. We're going to do so many conveyor rail shenanigans. Bam, bam. <laughs> it's going to be so jank. Because we need to redo how this feeds in. Or we have this loop around. That's probably what we'll have to do. Like that. Yeah, that's, that's starting to make a little bit sense. Okay, so from there, we'll probably pop up the water. Yeah, most likely. So this is going to go here. Liquid pipes. And then we're going to need ladder bridge. This is probably going to be a vent. No temp shift plates due to how that works. And then radiant piping. So it's going to come from the right. So here, here, here. And then come out here. That's probably fine. Which means some of this gets deleted, but that's fine. Doesn't really hurt us. And the only thing we're going to need is a lot of oil. So that's probably going to be done best here. And then this is going to bridge on. We'll cut the pipeline for now. And then we need power. We'll just pull it off the kitchen. All right, that's fine. This is no longer going to run. There's no power there, and it's really necessary. So that's fine. No researchers assigned. Oh, it's because we haven't actually... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still need to build this, which is fine. The dupes will eventually get to it. I want to see a lift off, though. See if it works. Does it crash my game? If I actually launch that rocket. <laughs> so many questions. Technically, it means that this hamster wheel is no longer necessary. Everything inside is swept. Nice. All we got to do is have this run a little bit more heavily. And then once it's done, I think we're going to be uh, doing pretty good. So we should have... Well, I should have a pitcher pump right here. And I probably need to have one here, but we haven't done it yet. I guess it's probably fine. And then we need to start moving the water in. I was thinking about just moving it from the reservoir as being a little bit easier. Alright, so the setup would be cut that, cut that. And then have this connect. And we just gotta fill up the room. That's kind of what it is. This is all water, so I don't have to worry too much. And the oil is cold. We need to freeze the water. That's exactly what we're trying to do. So we'll add it in. Uh, the conveyor rails look really jank right now, so we'll fix that. Alright, so... This needs to go here, that needs to go there. Alright, perfect. And then the rail needs to go like this, like that, like that. So bam, 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 bam. And then this feeds directly in, just kind of like that. So we would cut this off here, 
have this be disconnected? Yeah, it should be good. Just gotta fill this in. This needs to be water. Germs are not gonna matter. We just need to start emptying it out. Gotta sweep that though. Alright, alright. Is there anything we could cook that we're not cooking yet? Pickled meal, yeah, that's fine. We don't need that. So I'm hoping that the pre-freezer that we're making right now helps us out. We need to make sure that actually works. So here we're going to need oil. We need... I'm not even sure how much. But it's built, so I don't think it's that bad to keep this rolling. So crude oil, 9 auto bottle. We'll just drop off all the oil there. Actually, let me sweep. And let me select the oil. Oh yeah, 350 kilograms? I'm sweeping that. That's 35 bubbles. That's probably enough. That one bottle of oil. Oh, 200 kilograms. Not even mad. Auto save. Alright, turn that off. Now this needs power. Alright. We can't really do anything with the pipeline yet. Adding in water. So we'll do this early. It's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. Cancel. This also means I got to cut this line. And then we could cut that line. And we could get this out of here. And then we could have this connect. So we have more oil in the line. And then the Aqua Tutor is going to run a lot more. Which is fine for now. Okay. Fill this up. And we're good. Get rid of the bridge. I don't know if this will jam. I'm thinking that we should try to remove the oil. We'll do it here. We're going to remove this small bubble. Wait a second. So it moves back. So now we have full bubbles. I could cut that. Deconstruct that. There we go. I believe deconstructing and rebuilding is a lot faster. Oh, that's ceramic? Why am I using ceramic? What? Was everything here ceramic for no reason? I mean, that's fine. I want to get this built, though, so we can keep cooling down the liquids. Oh, no. Polluted oxygen. Uh... Technically, that's this tile. So that the gas comes out. Oh, come on. I thought you were building that. There we go. So that's sweeping here. So once enough water comes in, uh, it should just push up on that. And I do want this to be faster. We'll add some more bottle emptiers here. So we'll sweep out the setups. Pipeline needs to be built. Thank you, Meemaw. Alright, so the open bubble is fine. This allows for me to have a cleaner flow without having to worry about too much. One bubble, that's perfect. Uh, get rid of that. Mop this up. This is gone. This is gone. And this is gone.
Nice. Water's doing pretty healthy. We just need to spill it over. We'll be fine. We need to finish sweeping, though. That's taking forever. And how is it over here? Alright, so... You should be able to mine this out. They also talk about how Abyssalite, if it's one layer thin, like this, it's not doing a good job of uh, keeping the thermal energy away. So maybe we could use that to our advantage. So we're going to cut it thin from here. This is going to be the heat transfer tile. I don't want it to be like very hot plummeting all of that. But I will want to try to get access to some sleet weeds. Some of it is rotting though. Mule lice keeps rotting. Alright, so we're literally just waiting for plastic. Do I not have plastic? We literally have 23 tons. Alright, so... Is there anything else that I'm waiting to be built? No, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should be okay to do this. Bam. <laughs> like, that's taking forever, man. I want to do a test launch today. I want to check that out. Oh, there it is. The gas bubble. So, of course, we're going to have to bop that in the face. Where do you get plastic from? My glossy dracos. Right here. These guys, instead of having the sheepish-like fur, that is the thimble reed fiber, instead we get plastic from the plastic scales that they actually produce. So by keeping them in hydrogen, they're able to regrow the scales, and then we just shave them off to get plastic. The glossy drecos are a great source, because you don't need oil, you don't need anything related to oil, and you don't have to deal with a lot of the heat. Not only that, you typically almost always get mealwood, which is what you need to get glossies. If you didn't know, clicking on a Dreco shows you the egg chance for glossy eggs, which is 2%, but look at that. If they eat mealwood, there's an increased chance of them laying a glossy egg. That's all you really have to do, and once you have that set up, you're basically good. Because once you have that set up, you get plastic and you get meat from the, uh, oh, that's a lot of rotten grub fruit, dude. Feels bad. We got some people moving the grub fruit, please. Can someone do this, man? I don't want this to rot and cause me to have to vacuum this again. No one's moving this. Where is Meemaw, dude? Thank you, Meemaw. We still have the vacuum. Good, good. Alright, so the pre-freezer is going to be very necessary. I want to get a thousand. Well, this is a thousand kilograms. Oh, this is a infinite spill design. Oh, that's really jank. Uh, so I have to do this. This is a infinite spill lock. <laughs> I was wondering how we were getting over a thousand kilograms of water per tile. That's really impressive. It's on this side as well. Very impressive. So polluted oxygen gets deleted. And then once we deconstruct this, the water pushes up. Alright, so we need to make sure the water freezes. I need to sweep the items as well. Oh, and I need to turn off this bottle emptier. So technically we're done here. Yep, some of it is starting to spill upwards. I was worried about that. So we need to get this done. Someone do this, man, please. Thank you. Water pushes down. So it should resettle out to a thousand. A little bit spills out. Doesn't really hurt me. And then we'll mop this up. Liquid vent gets removed. Same with these pipelines. I need to sweep up the tiles. Alright, now that that's done, we need to sweep this up. Very high priority. 
Oh, and there's this tile as well. Alright, so technically with all that, we're good. So, we need to put a tile there. Max priority. Pause shipping. This goes here. This goes down. This goes... Both of them combined. And then we get Voltron. Nice. Alright. So boom, we're gonna have a chill box now. This is just gonna need some time in order for the oil to freeze. Gotta have the uh, temperature get lowered. And you can see by running the food through it, it's gonna be uh, chilled. Now the situation's only gonna get better. Ah oh, man, it happened again. Staff, save us. Thank you. Staff is mad strong. So now, hopefully, we don't get the food rotting as fast. Because we're going to have a cold box that's going to be chilled soon. I probably should have used ice temp shift plates to help it out. Because I do have ice. And then that way it would have just melted. Pretty easy. Alright, so I do want to get rid of the pipeline for now. Because it's not going to be needed. Now, how is my rockets? Okay, almost done. Uh, the pipeline's built, so we just need a plastic tile there. This is going to be 5,000 plastic. And then this is a tile. Remove, remove, remove. We need a rocket power outlet right there. Right at the bottom of the ladder. That's the ideal position, so I could put a building here. And then, not bad. We still haven't built that yet. It feels bad. A Mamba wants to come back in. Give me a sec, you guys. One second. We are back. We are back. Sorry about that, you guys. The Mambas is back, the little babies. The kitty cats needs to make his presence known and he's gonna be yelling while I'm, uh, you know, doing the streams. He wants his attention, he wants his head rubs, man. He's like, it's time, you let me out. Doesn't that mean stream's over? Constantly making his demands. The kitty cat has to be known that he's, uh, his presence has to be known. He is here now, and he's hanging out. Mambo, you're doing all right. You're gonna be just fine. They're needy at times, yeah. Cats are needy. But they also don't need that much attention. To the point where it feels like if they want attention, they really, really want it. Oh, my grub fruit is rotting really fast. All right, it's going down in temperature. It is. It's taking some time, though. Oh, that's because I'm not freezing anymore. Ah, yeah. That's technically true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the temperature. Because I'm trying to use a crude oil to cool down my water, the water's heating up the liquid, so it's no longer at the deep freeze temperature. I think I could have a couple hiccups like that, no problem. I want to say I should be fine, which is which is the same reason why I don't want to take additional dupes. <sighs> oh man, but once this freezes and it gets below zero, we're going to have a, a good time. I might have bit off more than I could chew though, I will say that. This might have been too large of a water box. Hmm... I could reduce the size of this. But long term, it's going to be better this way. Lone coin, what's good? I see you over there. We're rotting food right now at record breaking speeds because my uh, freezer is at negative two, which is not even close to cold enough. 
but this means this is running 99% uptime, which is fine. Metal tiles faster than water pool. Is this just for food or for a larger loop too? Uh, this is just for food. Now, the thing is, is that metal tiles are also weaker than water. You're, you're correct though, in the sense that metal tiles will get to the lower temp a lot faster, but it also means that it heats up a lot faster as well. So it's, it's kind of a give and take relationship where if you have too much hot food coming in, it might actually change the temperature and bring it up, which means you're going to have to work harder. Versus I'm working hard now, but every time we run food through it, it's not going to even put a dent into the... Uh, it's not even going to be a drop to the bucket. In the sense that it's going to be that much harder for it to heat up. But that's due to how much water we have per tile, honestly. You're right, though. Metal tiles would be a lot faster. Water is more effective, though. Another thing is, is that a lot of people think metal tiles are better because you have higher conductivity. And it really doesn't matter if you're running it through a solid because of how entombing mechanics work. So because of that, the, the conductivity doesn't really matter. Dude, my grub fruit is rotting. My god, another 80 units. Now, how can we make this a little bit faster? The temperature is low enough. It's coming out at minus three. The only other thing we could do is potentially just use ice, right? Minus 37. Uh, shrink the room, use ice. Those are my only two options. Otherwise, I have to wait. That's so sad. Uh, oh, we could run a second Aqua Tuner for the memes. Honestly, that would probably be the best temporary option. Another Aqua Tuner. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. I see what their facile run. All right, I have to put mesh tiles here because I need to flip the direction so that I could have a uh, signal right before the input. Just had cold water at the start. My water at the start was uh, 17 degrees. It was pretty cold. It's, it's pretty close. So technically, I got to go like this. Mamba always causing issues. Uh, we have that like that, like that, comes down like that. This goes in like that. Thermal sensor right here. And then technically I need the hamster wheel back, feels bad. So this goes there. This goes all the way like that, and then we could remove this line. All right, construction. This is priority. Let's get it done. Hey, geek. Thank you so much for the 20 months. Enjoy the emotes, T20 dice, ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Thank you so much for the support, though. I see you over there, geek. How are you doing today? How's the Saturdays? Hopefully you had a nice weekend. I mean, it's still the weekend, but, you know, gotta ask, man. How did you get the weekend started? But thank you so much for the 20 months. Welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emo T20 dies ad free viewing. Y'all know what it is. Thank you for the support. Helped my friend move. Nice. Did you get a nice workout in? Moving is a uh, full body exercise, man. Not gonna lie. It really is. That stuff is... Uh, it, it's a workout. Tiring. Yeah, I imagine, man. So long term, we're going to go back to the single Aqua Tuner. But right now, we're going to uh, have to build this. 
That's a true friend helping move. Did he at least treat you to lunch or dinner, man? Maybe you guys went to Red Lobster and get some cheddar biscuits. I don't know, man. Oh, the grub fruit keeps rotting, dude. And it's moved out. Nice. Pizza. Oh, man. Pizza. Pizza's all right. Pizza's all right. You got the standard payment. Yeah, man. Just get some Domino's pizza. Fast food pizza. Be like that sometimes. Mamba's angry. He really wants to go outside again. Mamba, man, stop going in and out. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. I'll give you your head rub later, babies. Oh, it's ready? Alright, so we cut this. And we have this, that. And then we just copy paste. So we should double Aqua Tuner the temperature. So we get out to minus 20. So we should chill it a lot faster this way. And it also means that the metal tile here would also get lower pretty fast. Been doing some of the HelloFresh meals. It's a little expensive, but uh, not felt the need to do fast food for a while. No, it's nice. There was a HelloFresh uh, sponsorship opportunity that they had for me. Oh, this overheats because it's in a vacuum. My bad. I should have. I should have did it. Six one nine would have used my uh, coupon code to get some uh, discounts. Dinner and lunch. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. HelloFresh is pretty nice. It's over now, though. <laughs> it's over now. I can't use it anymore. I was like, I don't know how many people would actually use my coupon code, and I, I would only get paid if people use it. If people don't use it. Well, not enough people. I need minimum five. It would have been one of those things where it's like, oh, well, you helped us out, but we can't pay you. I was like, oh, that's really sketchy. Tried another service, didn't like it quite as much. It's been great for the ease of use, and don't have to think about what you're making three nights of the week. That makes sense. And they have a light, uh, nice variety, man. They have some nice variety in what you actually can choose. Okay, so this is cold again, finally. Hopefully we don't get as much rottage. So this is not getting enough power sometimes due to no one running the wheel. That's fine. This is a temporary setup. TM, temporary. Hopefully someone runs the wheel though. Because this is necessary, man. There we go. Keep the Aqua Tuna running. Literally stable, no power generated. We just need to freeze the water fam, let's go. It is, man, trust me. Temporary TM. The two legit temporary, man. It's it's a lot different when I say it's temporary. <laughs> it's it's a lot different, alright, when I say it's temporary. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes you gotta hit him with the business, man. 400 cycles later. Dude, we're on 593, dude. I see you over there. Alright, we're at 8. This is not bad. I think this is gonna be fine. This is actually at minus 13 again. It's able to start freezing. It's gonna be pretty good. It took me so long to get my spawn up. It'd be like that sometimes, man. It's tough. But once you do get it up, dude, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Tiny pool of brine cooling my old tube. Oh, last for a handful of cycles. All right, Mamba wants to go out. I got to let him out, man, before he whines some more. Alright, so Mamba doesn't want to go outside. He really just wants my attention. I see Mamba, I see you over there, babies. So we're gonna have to wrap up soon. I went to open the door and he just kind of didn't move. He's like, no man, I don't want to go outside. I want some head ropes. 
now that I got my rad boat research going, I could get a steam turbine. Nice, nice. You need that, uh, you need that tech sometimes, man. All right, it's chilling out, minus 20. It's doing, it's, it's doing a good job. Metal tile's getting colder, not bad. This is at six degrees. Okay, we leave that alone. All right, it's finally time. Actually, no, I gotta release oxygen. That's the first thing we gotta do. I gotta release some oxygen. We don't have bathroom water yet, so I should probably try to set up some bathroom water soon. And before we wrap up for the night, I'm gonna do the illegal rocket launch. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, look at my rocket. Look at how it's built. This shit is mad illegal. I gotta be real. This shit is mad illegal. So we gotta check this out. We gotta check this out, man. We gotta see if this works. Alright, so we got the breathability. So the oxygen could start cooling down the uh, battery. So that we could actually do the Orville Data Collection Lab. Or we go without a battery, which is actually fine. Because it means that I just can't do data bank collecting at nighttime. Now, the only thing about this is oxygen. Now that we have it, 200 kilograms is not that bad. We could just use the atmosphere glitch for some O2. Alright, so I'm not really too worried about this. I just need to make sure that uh, my food stops rotting. <laughs> a lot of it is. And as long as you maintain a vacuum, I'm not too mad about it. No rockets on a no batteries on a rocket sounds bad. It's okay for data banking. Because you always get 60 watts per second. And this only consumes 60 watts per second. So unless it's nighttime, you're actually okay to just use uh, one solar panel. Now that's only possible for if that's all you're doing. You can't telescope on this, so you're not going to be able to, you know, have the telescope. But for just data banks, it's fine. I've done it all the time. I just want to check out the launch. So the crew, there's only one pilot, of course. All right, so we go right outside. Now, I have the safety save. And the reason why is because I feel like this should crash my game. You guys know what I'm saying, man? Like, this should break my game. Like, a rocket should not launch like this. It's kind of a meme. So I, I'm assuming that the safety save is necessary. This was... I need to make sure this is a save for right now, and it is. Alright, alright. So, we got our pilot. Alright, let's go. Insufficient oxygen generation. Wow, we're actually not producing enough for the colony. Does that mean I'm out of water? No. No, we're actually fine. Yeah, the oxygen is great. Ah, oh, look how breathable this is. What are they talking about? Feels bad, man. All right, the little bit of the thermal energy is going to start leaking out, which is going to chill out the area. That way it stops overheating. And then we'll break into that on the next stream. Start melting out this biome, move the metal refinery over here and start melting it out for more water. And then I'll probably try to go to the second planetoid and get the steam turbine here tamed. Uh, looking at this... There is a hydrogen vent, so we could technically use that to uh, generate power, make an aqua tuner setup, cool everything, and then cool down the steam vent, bring the water over to this side. Wouldn't be too bad. I have some sleet weed in here already. We have some sleet weed in the freezer. I could actually make some emergency food. Oh, we only have one sleet weed grain. Oh, it feels bad. <laughs> we only have one sleet wheat grain. All right, I'll try to save some. I'll try to save some. I need to remember that. Cats that take high grounds are uh, tree dwellers versus bus dwellers. They prefer the high ground. Oh, interesting. Does that mean Scottish folds are tree dwellers? Or is that maybe just a mama tree? Maybe he got that from his mom or something. Oh, it's a bush. Seems legit. 
Seems legit. Okay, so let's go. Crew, everything is good, and we just gotta wait for the pilot. All right, I want to see how this works. Ah, more food is decaying, man. They picked that out. They did. We're hovering around a hundred thousand K counts. And it spawns the CO2 up there. Hey, it works. <laughs> dude, that's such a meme, dude. That's such that's such an actual meme. Oh, the rocket doesn't appear though. Come on, silent one. Is it sleep time for you? Come on, Foo, wake up. Number one priority. He's gonna sleep till I'm gonna wake him up, dude. Feels bad. All right, you could do your data banks. All right, cool. I can't see the rocket though. Is this supposed to happen? I can't see the rocket. I'm a little bit worried, man. No, no, I could land. I could land. I click on this. And then I just go to change, and then we just land back home. That's actually fine. But it's kind of weird that I can't see this rocket. Very sketchy. Very sketchy. Alright, let's go home, boys. I could also force ground right here. Do they rearrange the rocket when I land it? <laughs> it looks so jank. It, it reminds me of... Um, it's like if you have a little brother that's like a year or younger, you guys have that tricycle with the carriage in the back. That's what this reminds me of, dude. It's like when you're little and you're riding your bicycle and there's a little bit of a, you're dragging along a little chair and your little brother sits in it so he could ride with you. That's what it reminds me of, man. <laughs> that's so sketchy. That's a sketchy rocket. It is, man. It's, it didn't crash the game. I didn't crash the game. It's actually fine. Now we're not gonna save it from here because I I couldn't see the rocket in the star map. <laughs> so it was kinda sketchy. It was kinda sketchy. Mamba's really mad, dude. He's he's yelling in the background. So guys, y'all heard the kitty cats. He is angry. And it's gonna be time for me to wrap things up for the night. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's stream.